Three, two, one, go. Hi guys, uh, Coach Ed Haynes here, talking you through the next block for the competitors. Uh, a very quick recap, first on testing week. Uh, once again, really well done. I don't just stay there every week for the sake of the video. Uh, genuinely saw some really good marked improvements in a lot of the retests. So firstly, the 30 minute row time trial. Uh, big improvements across the board. I don't really think anyone went backwards in that. And that's a really good sign of improved aerobic capacity. The next one was snatch and clean and jerk. Uh, loads of PRs throughout the week. Uh, a lot of that can be attributed to purely the fact that we're spending more time on the technical side of things. Uh, might not be necessarily an elicited absolute strength response, but it's really good. We're just going to keep on chipping away at technique. Uh, and when that technique is nailed, then we can really elicit absolute strength and speed. Um, good progress there. The CP battery test. So you guys remember doing the... 20 snatches at about 80% of your one rep max, as well as the 10, 10, 10 clean and jerk test. A lot of you hit PRs in your one rep max and snatch, and then went even far from your 20 reps of time at a heavier load than last time. So that's a really, really good sign, and that's a really necessary um, aspect of fitness when it comes to crossfit and prepping for the open, where we see a lot of those touch and go cyclical barbell movements. Uh, next one, gymnastics capacity. Yeah, huge improvement. We've been focusing a lot of time on building the ability to hit high rep pieces with things like kipping pull-ups, toaster bars, chest to bars, handstand push-ups. So really good stuff there. Anaerobic lactic capacity test, uh, horrible test, but tells us, uh, gives us loads of really good info as to what our athletes are really made up of. What we typically saw from the competitors was um, a pretty good first time. None of the times though were at elite, and elite being kind of sub three, third, three minutes, three and a half minutes. So really what that tells us is we need to work on developing power for most of you. Uh, and with that, it would just be, it, that's just time and strength to develop strength and power with really weightlifting. Um, but the good thing was, a lot of us were able to repeat that fast time for our second set, which is often indicative of a good aerobic capacity, but there's definitely some work that needs to be done there. Uh, yeah. Uh, sorry, just very quickly on that. Uh, we did expect a bit of a drop off. We haven't really done any lactic capacity work or lactic endurance work for you competitors. So that was kind of a first thing we threw in there just to see where we're at. So now in the next few weeks as we build towards open prep, you're gonna see a lot more of that kind of work. But just to say, we did expect that. We didn't expect to see uh, anyone hitting some really, really, really fast times and then repeating it again. Uh, next, quickly, let's move on to the next phase now. Uh, we're gonna to continue to develop Olympic lifting, specifically the snatch and the clean and jerk. Still got some work to do there. A lot of it's going to be technique focused, just like we've been doing, and eventually to working towards absolute strength, strength speed. Gymnastics capacity. Uh, you're now going to see a lot of you came in today, it's a Tuesday, doing things like row into chest to bar or assault bike into handstand push up work. Basically, being able to perform high rep pieces um, with your gymnastics movements under fatigue. Uh, increase Metcon variance. So I quote unquote Metcon uh, purely because with the sport of CrossFit, sometimes it's hard to put put a put a conditioning piece in a certain energy system. So for example, not everything is aerobic, not everything is anaerobic. You throw things like light thrust out, thrusters, light barbell clean and jerks, etc., etc. It completely changes up those response to the workout. So you're going to start to see more kind of Metcon. Uh, quote unquote CrossFit type conditioning pieces in there, which are going to be fairly varied. So you're going to see that two to three times a week at the end of your strength pieces. Uh, and you're also going to see some longer aerobic work, and that's going to feature on a Saturday, uh, kind of in excess of 20 minutes, constant grinding work, and that's going to add to developing our aerobic capacity, which was highlighted from our lactic test. Otherwise, guys, really good job, and uh, keep up the good work.